The Brothers of Liberty, here to remind you what true freedom is. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Brothers of Liberty with the older brother Kelton here. Um, today we'll be talking about guns once more. Because um, you gotta love when Congress agrees on principles of what they call gun principles and ten Republican senators decided to sell out their oath of office and instead of defending the Constitution, decide to limit the Constitution of our Second Amendment rights. Um, and New York has actually made a whole bunch of laws, 10 laws concerning gun safety, as they call it. One of them actually being nothing to do with guns, but people preventing people from purchasing body armor. As one person said, yeah, who cares if a convenience store clerk or doctor don't need body armor? Um, but I'm pretty sure, you know, they say military officer, military officers, police officers, people like that would be exempt. I'm pretty sure politicians would be exempt too, because what's good for the goose is never good for the gander. At least in their eyes, in the Democrats' eyes. Funny, they want to get everyone else to give up their guns, but their bodyguards and them still keep their guns. Um, but anyway, they're calling this the gun safety legislation. There's no bill out on it yet. Um, it's being written up as we speak. Um, but 10 Senate Republicans have agreed with some Democrats. And this is what the pro um, provisions they agree on, the principles as they call them. Enhanced background check. For those under 21, red flag provision and giving more state grants to states with the red flag provisions. Improve school safety. Um, ensure dangerous criminals and mentally ill per cannot purchase weapons and need more mental health resources. Now, I love that one part, crim dangerous criminals and mentally ill. Well, there's already laws for criminals not to get guns, but yet they still get them. I wonder why. Because maybe because criminals don't follow the laws. You try to uh, ban alcohol. Did it work? No. You made laws against drugs. Did it work? No. Only thing you're doing is taking away access for law-abiding citizens to get guns. That's all you're doing, because all you're going to do is make a market. I mean, you can't even keep criminals out of the United States at our borders. What makes you think you're going to keep guns and drugs out? And with the today's technology, it'll be as easy making a gun as it is, you know, chopping up a car and then reassembling a car. And those chop shops. But hey, what do the politicians know? Oh wait, they just want control. They don't care about safety. It's never a safety issue with them. Why do you think they use kids... To politicalize it. So they can tug at your heartstrings. And then while you're crying. They're laughing all the way. Saying hey we took more of their freedoms away. Pretty soon we'll be control the whole thing. Well there are patriots. Ready for you. And uh, we will get the word out. Um, you do not fool anybody. Because like I said. You make gun free zones for schools. And happen more school shootings happen. Not less. 30, 40 years ago, when guns were easier to get, there was no mass shooting because of morality. But these politicians had lost all sense of morality. They shouldn't even represent the United States. But then again, you know, they get elected by the people they represent, and people who represent, elect them are idiots. So, what does it say? You're electing, and, but the idiots don't realize they're electing people who's going to take away their rights. And that's why they want you to be complacent and not pay attention to history or anything else. And why they want to indoctrinate you with do as the government says and don't question the government. Don't learn about the Constitution. Because if you did, they'll be out of jobs. If they really cared about your safety, then you know what? They would actually go after the criminals. If they really cared about the Constitution and they try to say, oh, it's not a control issue, we don't want power, then... Tell them you want them to create an amendment to limit terms. They won't do that because all they want is power and money. And that's how you know the difference between a person who wants to help and a person who wants to control. People make fun of Ted Cruz all they want. But you know what? He has proposed that amendment to limit terms, which means he's limiting his own job. But none of the other congressmen, Republicans or Democrats, Wants to go along with him. Hell, even as 
I don't want to admit this, but even AOC said that Ted Cruz's idea for limiting terms was a good idea. Well, you can't be wrong all the time. I mean, the light bulb had to click on sometime, somewhere. The only thing that I'll agree with her on. But, this year is not going to stop gun violence. It's just going to make it worse. Criminals are going to have a new uh, market to open. And here goes the 10 Republicans who decided to sell out their oath and to the Constitution. John Carnan of Texas. Tom Tillis, North Carolina. Roy or Ray Blunt, I can't read my own writing, uh, Missouri. Richard Burr, North Carolina. Bill Cassidy, Louisiana. Uh, Susan Collin, Maine. Senator from South Carolina, who I knew he was a rhino, Lindsey Graham. Rob Portman, Ohio. Mitt Romney, no surprise there, Utah. And Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania. Those are the 10 Republican senators who decided to sell you out and to sell out the Second Amendment right. Remember, the, uh, the right of the people to bear arms shall not be infringed. I don't know, I don't have it in front of me for the whole saying, but remember, only three amendments say right of the people, which means it's not military, not police officers, not militia. Everybody. And they say shall not, in OT, be infringed for a reason. But hey, if you want to believe the Democrats and think all this is going to take us to Rainbow Land, which now, you know, Rainbow Land means com completely something different instead of a happy place. So I don't want to go to their definition of Rainbow Land. Then by all means, vote Democrats. Have your freedoms taken away little by little. This is the same party who, you know, had slavery and everything else. And yet all they did was change the way they're doing it. How do you institute slavery again? You take away people's freedoms. How do you do that? You take away the very thing they can fight you against. Because yes, they might not be military grade weapons. But it's a lot easier to fight a population when you don't have to duck. But hey. That's just my opinion on it. What's your opinion? Like, share, subscribe. Any comments, put it in the comment box. And if you have any topics you'd like us to discuss, Brothers of Liberty 76 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. And with everything that's happening with the Supreme Court ruling on pretty much now, can't even sue federal agents for violating your Fourth Amendment rights, how easy it would be for red flag laws to take away your guns even though you did nothing wrong because someone down the street is a Democrat and don't like your American flag waving in your yard and say, oh, he's a threat. Then that. You know, neighbors can tell on neighbors now or even make up vicious lies and we don't have our rights to protect ourselves anymore. That's how Hitler did it. Remember, folks. Hitler was voted in because he had liberal policies. He, they thought he was a great guy. Remember, he was voted in, just like these Democrats. And I am the older brother of liberty, reminding you what true freedom is and ought to be.